Panic is not. There are things that actually can harm you and your community, and going out and hoarding masks is one of those things. Since the outbreak began, millions of people around the world have donned surgical masks, hoping to fend off the virus. Chinese President Xi Jinping was seen wearing one in public. But top health officials and experts say masks often don't provide adequate protection against something like coronavirus. So the typical mistake is what? I put this on, and it may or may not fit, and what am I doing wrong here? So right now you're wearing a, a, a mask that's supposed to be fit tested, that's supposed to be fully sealed. At this point it's not, so you'll see that you can actually, you, there's space where your nose is that um, particles could, could actually potentially get underneath the mask. Public health experts say many people who wear masks don't have them properly fitted. That means constant adjustments and more risk. You're not used to wearing it, you don't know what to do, you might be touching your face more often. All of those are opportunities to actually get yourself sick. That's because our hands are our biggest transmitters of the virus. The more you touch your face, the greater your odds of getting sick. Major retailers say there's been a run on masks at stores, and if they're cleared off the shelves, there's a dangerous potential ripple effect. If we actually uh, utilize masks inappropriately in the community and in the general public, they won't be available for healthcare workers who actually need them to respond. Public health experts say there are myths about masks. One is that one single mask can be used indefinitely. These are supposed to be single-use masks, but some people might wear them for days. In which case, you actually, there, you might get particle, bacteria might grow inside the mask. So what should average healthy people be buying? Soap and household cleaning supplies, experts say. And make sure you stock up on whatever medications you're already on. As far as the best habits to fend off coronavirus, health officials say there are some very simple but important steps. Wash your hands as frequently as you can. If you cough, cough in, the, in, in your elbow and not on your hands and try to stay away from crowded places where there are a lot of people who are coughing and sneezing. What if you have to travel on a plane or another tight, crowded space? Should you wear a surgical mask then? Experts say that's a judgment call, but you have to make sure it fits you perfectly, that you know how to use it, and just use it one time. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.